President, please be seated. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. Mr. Kang Kek Il. Monsieur Kang Kek Il, poursuit le Président. In your name, as the, as the Chairman of S21, did you directly receive reports from the civilian or the military units on the arrest of those people to be sent to S21? S21? The accused, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. All the reports from outside units had to go through the chairman and through the superior. I did not have any direct communication with those outside units. Thank you. n'avais aucune communication avec des personnes de l'extérieur, les unités de l'extérieur. Je vous remercie. President, there was a question which I already asked you based on a confession. But in the case files, a lot of documents show the confirmation of the response. So I want to clarify it on the decisions based to arrest based on the confessions which implicated them as traitors. Is that true? Suite, um, étant donné que les noms des personnes avaient été portés sur des aveux, quel était le processus so the arrest of the people to be sent to S21 pour l'arrestation des personnes Best. et le transfertement de ces personnes à S21 confessions. sur la base des aveux? Based on the confessions and the decisions made by the standing Et committee or the general staff, du one after they de analyze de various confessions and with the agreement aveux, of the secretary of the general staff and the division secretary, secretary et then it was de it proceeded. L'arrestation pouvait but avoir lieu. In that, it means the division secretary also thought about the, their authorities to defend or to follow up their respective units and its the biographies of their subordinates. So, in conclusion, based on the S21 documents, that is correct. But then it means that a lot of confessions were analyzed before such a decision was made. And they also, with the agreement from the division secretary du secrétaire de division the president, le président another question Autre regarding question. the arrest concernant l'arrestation however it has a special characteristic do you have responded that uh, some of the S21 staff was arrested and sent to Presori Education Office? What offenses did they make which were determined as the criteria for them to be arrested and sent Quels for re-education at Presori? Can you elaborate on this? For the chamber, the accused, the people whom the S21 committee sent from the Phnom Penh office to Preso, I can't recall that there were two cases. One was the close relative, which was whom was arrested by S21, or 
Les membres de la famille arrêtés par S21. The distant unit arrested them and sent them to S21 and S21 sent them to Riso. What I can clearly recall is um, a comrade mate who was a witness here. So automatically, the S21 committee had to implement the light of the party that the relatives of the traitor of the enemy had to be placed at the education office to be monitored. So that was the, in the case of Comrade Main. And in the second case, when the person himself committed an offense, and if he could not be educated, then the S21 committee would send them to Brissot for re-education. And for that case, I could not recall any particular names. This is my response to you, Mr. President. The president. the president. So this means the decision to send the S21 staff to the re-education office at Preso was not decided by the upper echelon. It was decided by the S21 committee. Is that right? Mr. President, that is correct. Mr. President, thank you. And what about their families, the families of those who were arrested and sent to re-education office at Bressor. What action did the S21 committee take on their families, the accused? If the husband was arrested, then the wife had to go too. It was unavoidable. And the children too. The president, what about those who committed serious offense? Like you said, there were arrests of those who were sent to S21, including the S S21 staff and the staff who worked at Preso. What about the families and relatives who lived with the people to be arrested? What actions were taken on them? Quelles ont été les mesures qui ont été prises à l'encontre de ces personnes accusées, Monsieur le Président? For the people who were to be arrested and detained and tortured for interrogations and later on smashed, they were considered to be enemy. So the wives, the children of the enemy, were also regarded as the enemy. This, that was the reality at the time. This is my response to you, Mr. President. Mr. President, in general, we can observe that the arrest of those to be sent to S21 had to go through various stages. For example, the detention, the interrogation, the torture, and then to be taken to be smashed if they did not die after torture. The question is, besides these people who were sent to S21, any one of them had to not to go through these uh, processes? That means they were not interrogated or detained? Were there any such cases? The accused, uh, Mr. President, yes, yes. Réponse, oui. The list that I reported to the President Justin, La liste dont je vous ai parlé. That is the D159 slash 4.10. Bar 4.10. They only stayed for 10 days at S21. Une liste de deux gens qui ne sont que 10 jours à S21. That 10 days were for Comrade Hall to prepare the list, but the standing committee already made decision for them to be smashed. De les And as I have reported so far, the Eastern group from the Eastern group, there were more than 300 of them, so they were not interrogated because they were ordered to be smashed. So it is true that 
Their work has come. even they were sent to S21 and they were not interrogated and they were smashed. And in some other cases, when they were not important, then a decision was made to send them to be smashed. So that was the reality at S21. Mr. President, Question. the people who were arrested and sent to S21, which is now called Two Slime Prison, the descending to S21 occurred almost on a daily basis. Is that correct? L'été uh, de façon quotidienne. Est-ce exact? The accused. Uh, it's not on a daily basis. Non. There were some gaps, On ne recevait but pas de prisonniers chaque jour. Il y avait des jours sans, mais c'est difficile de vous répondre exactement. We can look at the list and make a decision from there. I cannot recall. Voir ce qu'elles nous disent. Carnet, président. Question. When people were sent to S21 by their respective units, which is the majority of the cases where people were sent to S21. What was the process done by S21 for organizing in to receive them and to place them in the common rooms or in the individual cells? The accused, Mr. President. The people who were transported in from outside, they were sent to S21 through Street 360. There was a location to receive them. And on the map, I already pinpointed the location with letter R, R which represents the reception area. Pour réception. And I think the current location is now the Beehive the radio station. And usually Comrade Hoi was present there. Radio. Or Comrade Peng. En général, but Peng était là, ou usually Hoi était là. it was uh, Comrade Hoi. However, sometimes souvent, Comrade Ho oui. was there too to Parfois inspect aussi, and to examine the list. And one it was done, then they were sent to inside to Comrade Paint for them to be photographed. I think I can uh, not recall clearly the process. But like I stated, the first reception area was the letter R marked on the map. The president, what about the, the forces that is? from the point marked with R que se uh, to, to, the the R pour reception, to the inside of the S21, which force took them from the R location to the inside of the S21? The excuse, Mr. President, de la the force that took de them from de the R location to réponse. the inside was the special unit. unit special. That the military unit or the intervention unit who, who were armed were in two groups. One was the special unit and one was the guards to guard the prisoners not to allow them to escape. So they were in two different groups. So those people who took them from the R location to the inside of the S21 were the special unit. De ces deux groupes plutôt, c'était le groupe spécial qui escortait les prisonniers point de réception à l'intérieur. Question. 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 Question.
took control of the register would be la well aware of that and comrade Poor is more informative than I am concerning or that or matter. The President, the reason we seek uh, verification concerning this matter because we have observed the surviving photos of the prisoners at S21 because uh, those people were not blindfolded and they were attacked with numbers. And that's why we are Les asking about the procedures of how people were uh, processed clinique, before they were allocated to the room. So thank you for your response. Dans une cellule particulière. President, when people were sent, what, what were at S21, were they wearing normal clothing or were they stripped off their clothes and leaving just their underwear? Because in the records of confessions, in the, uh, the, the, sorry, the, the record of the photos, footage of S21 reveal about the stack of uh, rag clothes uh, at uh, the location. De, de qui leur the accused. Although I am not precisely uh, in good control of this matter, but I know for sure uh, that uh, everyone who were très bien, sent uh, to S21 was immediately S21 stripped of their clothes, leaving only underwear. Et, uh, ne que ses Correction only applied to the male prisoners. Ceci valait pour les prisonniers de sexe the President. Question. Regarding the detention or imprisonment in many other documents, can you tell the court regarding the overall aspect of people who were detained at S21, for example, the condition of the location and the physical condition of uh, the, the, the rooms or the torturing devices uh, applied at, in that location, if uh, available. Torturé. The accused. Thank you, Mr. Réponse. President. I would like to also emphasize that the prison for S21 was not the prison in other countries with the rule of law. Even in the prisons in Cambodia, the prison I was detained in Phnom Penh, there were 12 codes uh, to protect uh, prisoner of, uh, sorry, political prisoners. At S21, I agree with the statement written in the book of uh, David Chandler, in which he calls it a place where people were detained before they were executed. So this location was reserved for keeping people to be uh, executed, so there would not be any rules to uh, uh, safeguard, uh, 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 legal safeguard to protect their rights. So any of their confession would be, uh, even uh, their, I mean, including their eating, they were eating like animals. So we already treated them as dead people. We only waited uh, for the time when they would be smashed. So I think uh, this would be applied not only in S21, it would be applied across the country, as I guess. The President. Question. 
the chamber would like to inquire the co-prosecutors whether they can put uh, the video clip we zero zero one seven two six two one on the screen Uh, we're endeavouring to do that now, Your Honour. Monsieur Smith. Oui, Monsieur le Président, nous recherchons... Like le the, the President, document the question. AV unit, uh, please le Président. convert to the monitor of uh, the co-prosecutors so that uh, the video footage could be projected. Your Honour, if we could have the ERN number again and, and also just a brief description as to um, what the video is and whether it in fact needs sound or not. Uh, we can't produce sound from uh, our location but we can obviously produce the visual. Your Honour, we are aware that the video is the president, uh, we actually do not need the sound. We only want to see the picture. And there has been a description concerning the list, uh, the DVD list prepared uh, by the co prosecutors, a list, a list de uh, DVD number video one describing the torturing tools and, les and the ARN is 0017 and the ARN is 0017 and this document is uh, related to the establishment of S21. We only would like to see the photo, the footage uh, concerning uh, the detention cells and also the place where people would uh, be received. Thank you, Your Honours. We have the, the video on our screen, so I'd ask that it the computer to be switched oui, to the, the president, uh, the AV unit, uh, please link uh, to oui, the computer of the co-prosecutors. Branchez l'ordinateur sur l'ordinateur des co-procureurs. The President, I think it is not the video footage we would like to see. Uh, we are looking for the video footage about the building and, and the detention cells. Thank you, Your Honor. Apparently that, that clip comes from the same uh, video as the, the Vietnamese prisoners. So um, it's, I think it will take a little bit of time to find it, to find the appropriate part. So I'm just wondering whether if we could move on and then we would call it up uh, once we found it. Peut-être pouvez-vous poursuivre et nous vous donnerons un signal lorsque nous aurons retrouvé les images que vous souhaitez projeter.
The president, I think uh, we would like to give some time to the prosecutor to help uh, locate that particular video footage. I would like to proceed further until the prosecutor can find the right uh, and then inform us. The president, in general, the detention of the people took place from the, be the time when they were sent to the location and they remained in the facility until they were smashed uh, and they never were let out. Is that correct? They accused. It is true. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. The president. Question. Le président s'interrompt. Thank you, I believe we found the clip. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que nous avons retrouvé like les images et nous pouvons les projeter. The president, the AB unit, uh, please link uh, to the co-prosecutor monitor. De yeah. des co The president, the AV unit, uh, please uh, turn to the normal view. This video footage uh, has connection with the following questions. Que vous venez de voir sont liés aux questions que je m'apprête à poser. In general, people had to be detained in the small general, individual cell with uh, the door locked, and that the uh, male prisoners had to be um, cuffed or shackled or entraved. Or only when people uh, were handcuffed when they were taken to be interrogated. The accused. The detention at S21. People were put uh, shackles to their both legs or to one leg, but I'm not quite sure. But they were shackled to their legs. 24 hours, over 24 hours, except uh, when they were taken or walked uh, 
to be interrogated and when they were being interrogated they would be then shackled again it is true the president when the victims or detainees got sick were they released to be treated the accused so far as I remember the treatment could only take place to delay uh, uh, time for interrogation I mean to make people live longer enough to be interrogated so this was the principle of detention at that time and I'm frankly submitted the president so the reason why detainees were detained 24 hour over 24 hours was still applied and even while they were being treated uh, the shackles remained uh, with them is that correct the accused your honor i do not contest this matter whether I have witnessed it or not, but I obviously acknowledge that the crime is that severe. The president, when people had to relieve themselves or ate uh, their meals, were they remain shackled uh, in like uh, 24 hours out of 24 hours as what you mentioned? Et donc, euh, en chez the accused. Mr. President, I think it is true that uh, those crimes vrai, did happen. It is uh, obvious that people were subjected to such um, crimes. Et que ce crime a effectivement été commis sur ces personnes. Uh, the President, Question. if the people were thirsty, what would si they do? Si un détenu avait soif, que faisait-il? The accused. Through my analysis and my understanding, I think uh, they would uh, shout sais, to uh, the guards nearby to bring in the water to them. Garde, près, the president. Question. The detainees in the condition, as you mentioned, that uh, shackles were attached to their legs for the whole 24 hours, 24 over 24 uh, hours, so how did they have a bath? Les uh, uh, se the accused, I have never witnessed Réponse. such a uh, condition, but uh, in February 2008, témoin, it uh, revealed that I knew for sure people were not released there handcuffs uh, uh, to let them have a bath. The guards would then use a water hose to uh, pour water from the outside onto the detainees. And uh, of course, it is a kind of crime that I never contest. And it is true that prisoners experienced that. Que je ne conteste pas. The president, so when they had uh, the shower by way of having the water from the water hose, uh, how could they change their dress and uh, their clothes? And if they did so, how could they, they make it? The accused. Based on my analysis and assumption, those people would uh, have only uh, 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 the underwear and uh, the, the remain with them, although when they were wet, they had to wear it until they got dry. And I think uh, no one cares for their well-being, I guess, so that's all. Voilà tout. The president, can we say if the condition happens, the hosing down of the prisoners inside the cells or the room, rather than it was for the cleaning of the cells, not 
for the bailing of the prisoners que if that pour les, was what des happened? Des Is that correct? Pour laver plutôt les cellules? The accused, this Réponse. assumption is true. The president, thank you. Ils plutôt pour laver les cellules. What about the Question. shackles? How were the shackles inside the common room les prisonniers and the dans les cellules shackles? How was the shackles made by wood or de iron? Quoi en trave? And how were the shackles Elles in those uh, long row of uh, bar or were they shackles individually? En trave individuellement We talked about the common room for now. Je parle pour so the condition of shackling the prisoners inside the common room. Les prisonniers dans les the accused, uh, Mr. President. Réponse. The condition of the shackling of the prisoners in the common room, they, dans les they were shackles in a row. On they lie down on the floor and their rangé. legs were shackled. Les prisonniers étaient allongés sur le sol et ils étaient enchaînés par le Mr. pied. Mr. President, there was only one type of shackle. Was it made Question. of a metal or were any chains used to lock the legs of the prisoners? Ou autre the accused. Autre As for the chain, oh. I am not sure Réponse. from what I can recall. Je ne suis pas absolument sûr. Uh, the chain was not Réponse. used. Que je, I, dont je me I was souviens, not sure. I cannot uh, make any presumption on this, but yes, the shackles were used. Mais, uh, bien des entraves. Um, the president, Question. from the condition you just described in general, How would they defecate if they were shackled 24 si hours? Were they 24 temporarily released for defecation or they had to defecate at the spot where they were shackled? The accused, Mr. President, Réponse. for the defecations, it was done on the spot. Ils faisaient leurs besoins sur Where place. Where the prisoners lie down, stay or slept. Que le, là où les prisonniers euh, restaient assis et étaient étendus For dormés. For defecation, I think an M16 box was used. Il y avait the case was used. Boîtes. And for the durin, a plastic euh, en fer qui servait pour container euh, déféquer. Container was used. Et puis des euh, récipients en plastique pour euh, uriner. We can say that for the prisoners who were in the condition that you described, when one prisoner died Quand un détenu mourait, amongst those uh, prisoners who were stacked together in the long row où les prisonniers and who were shackled together, à une longue barre. What was done uh, by the S21 staff when somebody died, especially during the night when the person was still shackled together amongst other prisoners? Si ce détenu mourait la nuit alors qu'il était enchaîné avec les autres. The accused, Mr. Résultat. President. Réponse. Because I was not uh, close to the situation, I did not follow up on the situation because Moi, I did not pay attention. I would not be able to uh, describe, although this is part of the crimes I am responsible si for. However, it is my presumption if a Mais prisoner si died during the night, uh, no action was nuit, taken until the morning. Rien fait avant le matin suivant. This is my response. The president, the president, 
What about the prisoners who were held in the individual cells? Did they take a bath? And if so, how it happened? I'm talking about an individual cell prisoner, not the prisoners who were held commonly in the common room. So how was the bath, the bath done? The accused. Uh, Mr. President, I was not there to see the situation directly. Probably they only took a bath uh, once a, a week or once a month. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you. Mr. President, thank you. Mr. President, thank you. Mr. President, thank uh, on one one leg or both legs, could they stand up? Um, un pied ou the accused. Uh, dont les deux pieds étaient enchaînés. Est-ce que ces personnes pouvaient se lever? Up? Réponse. When uh, the guard there permitted the person to stand up without the permission, the prisoner could not stand up. This is uh, my response. Elle peut, Thank elle you. The president. The president. During the detention, Au in general, the, the prisoners were prisoners detained 24 hours a day. Was there any principle for them to be laid outside for the exercise under the direct uh, daylight or sunlight? Sortir the accused, from uh, what I could say, no, except soleil, those who were allowed to work outside to, for the, to provide the service to the prison. Besides those people, nobody was allowed. Um, obéir à tel ou tel ordre, ces personnes étaient autorisées. Pour les autres, the president. Uh, les, eh bien, elles ne pouvaient pas and sortir. the female prisoners were detained the separately president. from the male prisoners. Were the female prisoners also cuffed or shackled? And how was the bath done? And was there any change of clothes? Um, Est-ce que ces personnes the accused. Uh, when I was the chairman of S21, I did not pay much attention to that. However, according to the surviving documents and the statements at June 8, I believe the female prisoners were held separately from the male prisoners and they were not shackled and sometimes they were allowed to work outside. This is my response. Et quelques fois, elles étaient autorisées à sortir. Voilà ma réponse. Mr. President, were there any changes of uh, clothes? Le président, uh, ces personnes they only had uh, one clothes that they wore on their bodies, like the male prisoner who only wore a short and a shirt. Elles ne portaient qu'une... Uh, or if they ou have any um, more than one set of clothes. The accused, Mr. Regarding this matter, I can say only through my analysis and conclusion that they might have two sets of clothes for them to change because this principle Honestly, I did Car not uh, think about it. Très honnêtement, je n'y ai pas pensé. Je n'ai pas pensé à it cela. It was Comrade Hall who paid uh, attention, and it was his Camarade responsibility and experience regarding the female prisoners. C'était lui qui disposait d'une expérience um, du traitement de prisonniers de sexe féminin. Mr. President, during the detention there, Le président, all the prisoners were under strict guards au centre, from the armed les guards inside and outside the office who received strict restrictions to prevent them from escape. Is this a statement correct? Uh, the accused, Mr. President, this is the truth. C'est la vérité. 
the president for the guards outside we refer to the special unit, right? And for the inside guards, we refer to those prisoners' guards. Is that correct? The accused and the president. The outside guards were the special forces. And for the inside guards, we refer to those prisoners' guards. Uh, President, uh, from the establishment of S21, those the people who were sent to S21 and detained there, was Le there President. any opportunity for any prisoner to escape from S21? Pour les prisonniers qui s'échappaient the accused. Y avait Mr. Il President, the, there, there was only one case of uh, escaped, and the person went to back to the unit, and the unit sent back to S21. That was from the 170 unit. That was only happened once. And another case, a prisoner took a weapon from the guard, and another case, a prisoner stole a weapon from the guard. So there were only three incidents regarding this matter. Mr. President, according to the situation you just described, le président, it shows that the majority of the prisoners slept directly on the floor with no mat, no pillow, or no mosquito net. Sol, and when they were hosed down, they still wore the weight shorts. Is that correct for the male prisoners? Les prisoniers portaient ensuite the toujours accuser, un short humide. Mr. President, exact, hein, on this matter, my presumption is that it is correct 100%. Je suppose que c'est exact à 100%. Le Président. Le président. What about the detention of the important people like Koi Thun, Won Wei Kong, and Kong Chap? What was the practice by the S21 staff towards those people? Was it the same as the general prisoners? And all were, or did they receive a better rations than the ordinary prisoners? The accused, Mr. President, for the people who were in the special prison, pour les personnes qui étaient détenues dans la they, prison spéciale, they had a better living condition. Elles avaient de meilleures conditions de vie. I myself went to interrogate Je Koi Thun. Je suis même interroger Koi Thun. I saw personally. And the photos show that Koi Thun was shackled to a written bed where he slept on. And I still remember the house. So, so in conclusion, the special prisoners had a better living condition. They were more comfortable. comfortable. And the communication et la communication uh, was better and the treatment by the interrogators were also better and more polite de, de and when they were sick they would be treated appropriately poly, for example in the case of Sosopad when he was detained there Sosopad, the guard eh bien, un was peu careless que le so then garde. he picked up a screw and swallowed it and I ordered a medic from the general staff to operate it on him. And when he recovered, then we continued the interrogation. So all this was done in order to get the confession. Whatever that happened was for the sake of getting the confession from those important prisoners. So the image was the same. It was the crimes that was hard to believe. And psychologically, the people at present time find it very hard to believe what happened at the time. Psychologically, the people had hard to believe what happened at the time. Psychologically, the people had de ce qui se, uh, uh, ce qui se passait à l'époque. Did you ever observe the the general condition 
of the physical body of the prisoners at S21. For example, the outside skin, what was the condition of the skin? This is because you just responded that the match or the mosquito net or the pillow was not provided to the prisoners. Even the cleaning of the room by hosing down was also done on the prisoners. So the prisoners slept with their weight shorts until it dried. Humide. So, this is to show that the condition Ceci indique of their body would receive some leur corps est mosquito bites, for instance. Uh, and in general, this is uh, it, it was in Phnom Penh, and there were a lot of uh, bushes around the area. Did you observe the condition of the skins of mosquito bites on the prisoners? Donc constater des piqûres de moustiques sur le corps des prisonniers. The accused, Mr. President. L'accusé, Monsieur le Président. I honestly confess that the prisoners who were detained there, I was not close to them except a few people whom I was close, I was in close contact with. Num number one was Poon, brother Poon, and after the interrogation was done, and after the torture marks uh, was recovered, I saw him and the second prisoner, Dr. Roth, after they he recovered Roth, from the person. torture, I met him, and the third one, Chao Seng, he lived Chao longer, Seng. and I left him with the brother Mom Knight uh, for him to have a chit chat. And as for Koi Thun, I met Mom him on a number of occasions when I interrogated him. So, Koi Thun, when I first met him, I interrogated him. I interrogated him. And when he did not receive any torture, however, he did not have a mosquito net to slip in. And at that time, at S21, frankly speaking, of the uh, real situation, I myself, I did not even slip in the mosquito net. But the uh, mosquito at the times did not carry any malaria uh, virus. So because I was not in close contact with those prisoners when they received torture, I could not say whether they receive any like beating marks or mosquito bites on their skin. And I only met those few people only after they were beaten and tortured, and after the marks were fully recovered. As for Brother Von Wait, when he came in the evening, I met him on that evening, and later on I did not go and see him. So in conclusion, the health and the physical condition and the skin of the prisoners, I did not observe and I did not see directly except those few people whom I met after they already received the torture and after the wounds covered. The president, what about the condition of the detention of the Westerners, the foreigners, uh, the four people you mentioned? How were they treated? Were there the same conditions applied to the foreigners like the other detainees? Est-ce que les mêmes mesures s'appliquent à ces personnes Je voudrais conclure que les mêmes mesures que pour les autres prisonniers arrivent dans deux occasions. And I met only one of them, the British man. Je n'en ai rencontré qu'un. Il s'agissait du Britannique. He was at Compiègne and interrogated by Comrade Pon. And Pon reported to me that. 
this m'a rendu compte uh, que British guy was ce Britannique very polite. était très poli. You should see him, and then I went to see him. Et je suis allé At le that voir. time, he was not yet tortured because his physical appearance is uh, no, was normal. But I did not know whether a mattress mm, or a, sorry, a, a mat or a mosquito net were given to him or not. That's all. Si on lui a donné un, uh, une natte ou the president, un uh, can we say then that uh, the detention of the Westerners des Occidentaux were detained specifically apart from the other detainees as we already mentioned earlier. Do I understand that correctly? Then? The accused uh, from the first encounter with the prisoner I can conclude that the four Westerners lived in a separate condition apart from the normal, ordinary victims, Cambodian victims. The President. The President. What about the condition of the detention of the Vietnamese civilians or win Vietnamese prisoner of war, whether they were subjected to the same condition as the other detainees, or were there any different uh, conditions? The accused, both civilian and uh, military, uh, Vietnamese military were detained the same way as the Khmer detainees. They were interrogated and tortured. But uh, the Vietnamese people were not severely tortured as the tortures uh, that were inflic inflicted on the Cambodian prisoners because we only needed their confession. The president. So it is now time to take an adjournment uh, for lunch. The trial chamber would like to take the adjournment and uh, resume the session at 1.30 p.m. The security guard, please take the accused to the waiting room and return him by 1.30. The parties to the proceedings are also advised to return to the courtroom this afternoon by 1.30 p.m.